Hi there, my name's Ben. I'm from the US and a Gothenburg local since 2006. First of all, Gothenburg is situated in Scandinavia on the west coast of Sweden. The city itself is a perfect mix of big and small. You can walk practically everywhere. Yet it offers the restaurants, shopping, culture, and attractions of a capital, but with no stress. One of the things that always makes a strong first impression on friends when they visit is the natural surroundings with the beautiful coast and thousands of islands in the archipelago. To me, Gothenburg offers the best of Scandinavia. So when you visit, here is what you definitely must see. This is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Gothenburg. It's filled with small cafes and the perfect place for a Swedish fika. Also, if you have the time, take the opportunity to enjoy the view from the 17th century fortification, Skansens Kronan. Again, you can walk anywhere, but it's also fun to bike or even go boating or kayaking around town. If you want a sightseeing tour, there are some really fun alternatives. Personally, I like to start out in the oldest part of the city, in the neighborhood surrounding the 17th century building, Kroon Huset. From here, find your way up the main boulevard avenue towards Jetteplatzen. Inaugurated for the World's Fair in 1923 and home of several of the city's landmarks, this is one of the most famous places in Sweden. While here, don't miss a glance inside the Gothenburg Museum of Art, with one of the best art collections in Northern Europe and works by masters such as Rembrandt, Picasso, and Van Gogh. Talking about museums, I also recommend a visit to the Maritime Museum with all its vessels, and of course, the Volvo Museum, if you are a car enthusiast. This is a green city. Right in the center of the city is one of the best preserved 19th century parks in Europe called the Garden Society of Gothenburg, or Trägårdsföreningen in Swedish. A short tram ride away, you'll find the Gothenburg Botanical Garden with more than 16,000 different species of plants. If you would like to see some of the wild, unspoiled nature that is so special about this part of the world, the Gothenburg Archipelago is just the thing. In less than an hour from the city center, you can find yourself on the most beautiful island you can imagine. And the trip itself is quite stunning. My idea of the perfect afternoon is having a cup of coffee on the street called Magazines Gotham. A peek inside one of the design stores, a tasty treat from the market hall. And also having a chit chat with some of the locals there. That's another thing that makes Gothenburg great. Everyone is warm and friendly and they all speak English really well. So there you have it. I hope you love Gothenburg as much as I do. Welcome to my city.